Hey, Mike here, Mike's House of Mods. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It is absolutely gorgeous here today in Nashville, which is kind of crazy because just a few weeks ago, we had an ice storm and a snowstorm, and I was stuck in the house for about a week because we basically have no snow removal equipment here in Nashville. Uh, but that's okay, spring's around the corner, uh, around the corner and uh, like I said, today's a gorgeous day, and it's a perfect day for me to go ahead and uh, clean and protect the uh, convertible top here on my sky. And that's what I'm gonna do today. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do, and I'll show you the products that I'm gonna be using. Okay, first thing up is gonna be the 303 Convertible Top Cleaner. And I've used this before, and it's very popular on uh, Facebook and um, YouTube videos and everything else for cleaning uh, convertibles, any kind of convertible. It gets rid of stains, uh, residue, that kind of stuff. And uh, most importantly, it is actually safe for the convertible top material that you have on there. And uh, it's pretty simple instructions. You basically uh, just go and you just remove any kind of like loose stuff that you have happen to have on there, any loose dirt and stuff, and you wet it down, spray this on there, and you take a uh, nylon brush, like a soft brush obviously, uh, or you can use a terry cloth rag or a sponge, I actually have a, a, a soft brush that I'm going to be using. You just kind of agitate it in there and uh, clean it all up, rinse it off, and you're good to go as far as it being cleaned. All right, then after that's done, we're going to bring out the 303 Fabric Guard, and this is going to be uh, protecting that convertible top from, you know, rain and dirt and things like that, and uh, make it basically waterproof for the most part. Uh, repels that water and stains and things, and uh, it's safe for all fabric. So you can not only use this on your convertible, I guess you can use it on other things at home as well. Um, and what I'm going to do is let that uh, let the top dry on the uh, on my convertible after I clean it. Then you go ahead and you basically just kind of spray this on uh, in a um, pattern. You kind of overlap the patterns uh, whenever you're spraying to kind of get a nice, um, a nice solid covering, but you don't want to uh, oversaturate it as well. Uh, once this is on there and it dries, it, it says it takes uh, 12 to 24 hours to completely um, be dry on there. But uh, once that's on there, you're going to start seeing the water bead if you happen to drive in the rain. I know a lot of people say, oh, I don't drive in the rain. Uh, but hey, sometimes you get caught in a storm and you don't realize it. But anyway, um, once it does it, you're going to see the water start beating off of there and it's going to be uh, going to be good. So I'm going to go ahead and get that cleaner back out and start cleaning the, uh, the convertible top. Okay, looking at my top, I really don't have uh, anything as far as uh, a bunch of dirt and grime or anything like that or stains that uh, they have to be taken out. I do have obviously some typical wear spots and things. Um, <clears throat> more on the other side actually let me take a look as far as wear spots if I go over here yeah we got a little bit here might be a little bit of the light too but then I do have something going on here which I don't know uh, what that is I think it was I don't know if it's moldy stuff or if it's I don't know what it is so hopefully that gets rid of that as well and uh, get this thing uh, protected once again All right, oh, nice and wet. Got the cleaner. And spray it on here. And there's different, uh, oh, I'm sure you all know there's different ways to spray it. This way here, and let me go get my to get my uh, brush. All right, so here's the brush I got. It's obviously a soft bristle, bristle, the soft bristle brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it all up. Like I said, I really didn't have much dirt and grime or anything on here anyway. I just wanna get anything in there clean before I start uh, putting the protectant stuff on there. All right, now it's time to hose it back off again. This time I'm gonna do a little sharper of a I don't know which one is it going to be. There's all these different settings on this thing. I guess that'll be all right for now. It's like it's going through a car wash here.
Actually, since I was cleaning this top anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wash the whole car because it needs it. It needs a bath really bad, actually. Uh, and um, then this has to dry before I go and put the uh, clean the uh, protectant on it anyway. So I'm going to hopefully be able to get this finished and drive by today. I know it's getting a little bit late now, and um, get that on there. Otherwise, I have to do it either tomorrow or on Monday. So the sun did its job, it's all nice and dry. I mean, this is a nice small car, it doesn't take that long to, uh, to wash, but it even takes less time for this top of driving that was uh, pretty wet. So now I'm gonna be able to go ahead and uh, apply that 303 protectant and this thing will be done. All right, I don't know if this is necessary or not, but I went and I protected like the windows and some of the paint and stuff like this uh, from this protection, protecting from the protectant, um, just in case I don't want any kind of overflow going on. Other stuff that I have to, I mean, I'll, I'd wipe it off anyway, but this will kind of limit how much I need to uh, wipe off whenever it's uh, applied. All right, so basically just kind of spray it on here. Just mists on. And you want to overlap what you're doing, but you don't want to get carried away uh, and oversaturated e either, which is kind of crazy to me. How do you know if it's oversaturated? All right, that's it. I'm going to take these off, wipe up some of the excess overspray that might have happened, and let this dry. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, it's been a couple days since I put that 303 protectant on the convertible top there, and let's go ahead and pour some water on it and see what happens. So theoretically, whenever I pour this water on here, it should bead up nicely, hopefully it does. And there it goes, look at that. Water just runs off and uh, doesn't penetrate it at all. Let's watch that again, that was actually kind of exciting to watch. Check that out, isn't that cool? Now, of course, it's pouring all over my leg. But uh, that is how you protect your uh, convertible top on your sky or your solstice or any convertible top that you have uh, in this material. That is cool, I'm gonna do it one more time just cause that's, look at that, check that out. Whew, comes right off. And again, right on my leg. So there you have it, a real easy way to clean and protect your convertible top. You definitely want to take care of it because they are very expensive to replace. Um, what I might do sometime this summer is uh, just re-dye it and, uh, or make it so it's nice and black. I'm going to find some products on how to do something like that, which would be really cool. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep it clean, keep it protective, especially all during the summer and uh, we'll be good to go. So that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please subscribe uh, to my channel, hit that little uh, subscribe button or uh, actually, and hit that little notification bell as well. You'll be told anytime I come up with some new videos and please hit that like button. YouTube loves the like button and so do I. So uh, that's it for me. I hope you have a good one.